Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crystal and Light. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It helps my channel grow, and I appreciate it so much. If you're returning, welcome back, guys. Thanks for your patience. You know, um, we never know what's going on, how we're going to feel, and if we're going to be showing up. But it's important to take care of you, okay? Do not rush. Do not get coerced into doing something that is not in alignment with your truth. This is going to be for Aries. Aries, this is going to be... You are reading, um, I call it uh, the shift, because we're, we've shifted into, uh, with the solstice and this um, annular solar eclipse and cancer at zero degrees, we shifted into another pathway. We, we went through the door, a doorway, you know, it's a shift. It's a huge shift. So this is going to be your shift reading, Aries. This is going to be for you. So we're going to get some tarot and then we're going to get oracles. We're going to start with the Queen of the Moon oracle since we had that eclipse. Okay, let me just light some um, Palo Santo. So for you, Aries, I feel like you're going to discover something, something that's not pleasant. Somebody that has been taking advantage of you emotionally or financially. Um, Neptune is retrograde today. Um, so, you know, the water's pulling back and we're seeing everything that's been hidden. Um, the solstice is in your fourth house, well, on the cusp of Gemini and your fourth house. So it could be something about your child or something about a family member is involved, okay, or a loved one. It's just a relationship, somebody that you are, have a close relationship with, you're discovering that they've been doing you dirty, basically. Now, with Mars being in your 12th house, you might want to act impulsively, you know, and with that Gemini energy, the third house, you might want to lash out and seek revenge. Do not do that. Concentrate that energy towards you. Okay. Everything that happens is for a reason. Now you are advised. Now you know they're, who they are. Masks are off, right? Do not seek revenge, Aries. Do not act impulsively. Okay. That's what I'm hearing for you. All right. Let's get a Queen of the Moon Oracle here. For Aries spirit, what is it for Aries? Yeah. yeah, Neptune joined the retrograde gang. Now they're all in retrograde Mercury. Because you might regret it if you come up and do something, right? Mercury's retrograde in Cancer. We're very emotional here. A lot of water energy. Neptune and Pisces. Mercury and Cancer. With this annular eclipse that just happened, emotions are running really, really high. Right? So we have six planets retrograde. Neptune, Mercury, Jupiter, Pluto, Saturn. I'm missing one. Ve Venus. Hello, Venus. Yeah. So for you, Aries, I really feel like, yeah, you're discovering something. Or it's just an enlightenment. Spirit is coming in with some messages for you. That could be it as well. I'd rather that than you discovering that somebody has been abusing your kindness, right? We'll see. Sarah, what do you have for Aries, please? With the solstice portal that opened up for everyone, what does Aries have to look forward to or pay attention to? Creation. I like that. It's a 12, it's 3, it's expansion. So it might be downloads. You're getting downloads, an idea, a creative idea, a new project, right? expanding your already existing project, having collaborations, collaborating with people. I'm sensing the three of pentacles energy. You're working on something, Aries. So maybe it is not somebody that stole from you, you know, energetically or financially. Maybe it's just opportunities coming to revelations, you know, um, spirit coming in with illumination, awakening. So very, very creative and um, pa passionate because you are passionate, right? And Mars is going to enter your sign uh, soon. So, yeah, so you're definitely creating something. And wherever you felt stuck, that something was not moving forward or you didn't know how to go about it because you had an idea, but you didn't know how to go about it, Spirit's saying that they're coming in here with exactly what you need, all right? All right, let's get some tarot now. From the Crystal Power Tarot. Creation is good. It's the beginning of something beautiful. It's exciting. It's a birth of a new idea. Cancer is the mother, right? So maybe with the solstice, you 
had an epiphany. Okay? Something came to you and it was exactly what you were waiting for. The opportunity. Okay, we'll do it for Aries, please. The back row is for Aries. Whatever you're working on is going to be ongoing for the next six months. And it's a really no, uh, nice journey you're about to embark on. It's going to be very fruitful. You might see the desired results six months from now. But everything's going to run smoothly, I'm hearing. And you don't have to worry. Okay, Aries? Go with the flow. Listen to your intuition. Make sure you're in the right state of mind. Don't get involved in drama, petty arguments, okay? Focus your energy on you and what you are creating. Wow, that card just flew on the couch over there? Okay. One second. <clears throat> we have the King of Cups, but it was reversed. I am my own anchor. See, that's like being a super emotional, irrational not being in control of your emotions, Aries, I'm telling you. I do feel, although there's creation here, I do feel that you're going to be tested by someone. Something, in, you know, this is going on, this creation. It's like, you're going to have to, like I said, let it go. Fall back from this drama. Whatever this person did, the situation that causes you to lose your footing, that rattles your cage, that gets that wore your energy out wanting to lash out and seek revenge you're gonna have to let that go aries and especially do not drown your sorrows either i'm hearing because you have something better to do that here that's coming to you. <clears throat> direct this anger this this not anger but this emotional uprise it's it's emotions right transmute this this energy which is not a good one not a positive one it doesn't bring you anything transmute that and use that passionate energy towards your creation okay not towards revenge you guys can go really fast you know because you guys are cardinal signs you do not like to take stuff you know justice right speak up but you have to come from a place of balance, not an emotional place, because that is just going to create chaos. Speak your truth. Don't be a, a don't be um, definitely don't, don't don't let them walk over you, but in a balanced manner, okay. And then, like I was saying yesterday, when I was thinking about your reading, I was like, <clears throat> something came up. I was like, you know, people are playing karma. It's like. Uh, Freaking Archangel Michael here, he's here, okay? He's like, the, the gates are open. Like the, the whole universe is like a huge courthouse. Karma is being paid right now. And there's like immediate karma right now. Because Archangel Michael's like, while I'm here, I see everything. So people right now, there are people that have been doing really awful things. They're paying their karma. We're seeing that in the world with the, you know, the government and the higher place. People abusing the power. But even people that are doing little shit right now, they're getting their karma instantly. It's instant karma, you know? It's almost like there's, a, like spirit has a flashlight and everything is like, spirit goes like violation, violation. And you're getting yours. You're getting punished immediately. Not you, Aries, but I mean the people that are doing bad stuff, you know? With no integrity, stuff that is not just fair and, and uh, coming from a place of integrity. Justice is here, you know, for everyone. And it's instant. So you have the Ace of Wands. Follow your passions. There's an inspiration coming in here for you. With this creation card and the Ace of Wands, you have better things to do. Let spirit handle that. Speak your truth. Because you have to voice what you're feeling, your truth, of course. Let them know. But don't get over-emotional. Focus this passion this drive, this fire towards your creation, Aries, okay? All right. Then we have, right? Because then it was in reverse. 
This is dead eight of pentacles. This is dedicating yourself to what you believe in. This is working hard. This is mastery. Okay, self-control. But it's in reverse. And it's under the king of cups reverse, right? So it's like, like I said, if you get in, you get caught in this whirlwind of uh, revenge, of uh, anger, you're going to just, spirit is putting you on a path here of creation and passion. You're going to just, uh, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss the, you're going to miss that portal. You're going to miss this opportunity. Okay. You're going to miss it. So be aware, Aries. What else do I have for Aries, please? King of Swords. I trust my ability to make a strate strategic decision. What? Under the Justice card. What is the strategic decision? Is to know that this person is definitely not, <laughs> has no integrity. This person used you, fooled you, took advantage of you. Well, guess what? What is the strategic approach to this? Is to see, to understand that now you know. Now you know, right? So now you can get rid of them. Or they're never going to fool you again. That's the approach. That's the strategic approach to take. And then let it go. Speak your truth from a place of balance. Let it go. And strategize towards your creation. King of Swords. He's very level-headed. He's not the King of Cups reverse. Okay? He's the King of Swords. Two cards of justice here. King of Swords and the, the Justice card. Swords energy. Think. Think, Aries. Do not let your emotions take over. You're going to have to step into your air energy. You don't, you know, into the air energy. You guys are fire, so you're really quick to go. Quick to jump. You're going to have to step into your mastery, your wisdom. And make empowered choices. And build your legacy. Build this creation. Ace of Wands, there's passion, there's creation, there's power that is being offered to you here by spirit. But there's something here that could totally derail you, and that would be such a pity. Look at that. Bottom of the deck, the star card. Wish fulfillment. Being empowered and positive about your future. Not letting past shit people's crazy low vibration and stupidity Get in the way of your wish fulfillment of this beautiful, powerful creation. This is you, by the way. You're showing up. Step into your emperor energy. The emperor, he's fire, definitely. He's Aries. But he's also, the, this is all the kings. King of cups, king of uh, swords, king of pentacles, and the king of wands all together. Balance. Those, all those energies. Okay. Understand from a spiritual point that it's not happening to you that it's you know people are gonna be people at the level at Where they are at in their life So understand that come from a you know higher perspective King of swords strategize speak your truth Go you know straight to the point But don't lash out Stay in, in your integrity Don't match their negative energy King of Pentacles, direct that energy towards building something for you, something solid, something fruitful, something that's going to bring you money because you're the emperor. You have riches and you that's what you do. Everything you touch it turns to gold. So focus that, you know, be the King of Pentacles. Create, follow your passion. And then the King of Wands, well, you know how to do that, right? Passion. Because, listen, there's something huge trying to come in here creation something that you're going to build because you put the good right energy into it it's going to be exactly not even exactly better than what you imagine it's probably going to take you places that you've all that you've always wanted to go all right the test for you is it's going to be a test it's going to be a test aries okay let's get a work of work your light um oracle for you here and then we'll get um light workers oracle and then we'll get an angel message all right aries so there's a little ick you know trying to it's devil energy it's devil energy because that's what devil energy does somebody here you know trying to 
somebody, I, it, I feel like it's somebody you're partnered up with in something. Work, anything. It could be work, it could be uh, a relationship, it could be both, you know, but it's something has to do, something you've put a lot of work in and um, this person just shady. Let me just say that. Shady. More than shady, a thief. Energetic vampire or a thief stealing your money. A thief, basically. You're dealing with a thief. Okay? Who or what is triggering you? I'm telling you, it's a trigger. It's a test. It's a test. Then you have warrior woman. Doesn't matter if you're a man or woman, guys. This is the queen of swords energy. Have, your answer, have you answered your deepest calling? So this person is going to come in. It's a trigger. It's a test. Meanwhile, you have a deeper calling coming in, your creation, this passionate, you know, new, like, venture that is being offered to you by spirit. But somebody's going to come in and trigger that. And if you're not careful and you don't stand into your warrior stance, but warrior stands with integrity, you know, the integrity, the, the, the warrior with integrity, not the warrior, the crazy warrior, the crazy king, you know, the crazy emperor, no. Level-headed, you know, and know what's in front of you. Speak your truth and be done with it. And direct your energy towards something else, okay? Don't be the crazy, the crazy emperor here. Don't be the crazy, don't be the mad king, I'm hearing. Okay. This is a test from spirit here. Look at that. This is a test from spirit before you get your wish fulfillment. Okay. So be careful, Aries. All right. Let's get the work your, li work your light card here. You showed up in your your, in your your reading, so that's good. It's definitely for you, Aries. You can do this. That's what I'm hearing. You can do this. Don't forget who you are. Like I said in the beginning, don't let anybody come in with some energy that, de that messes with your balance. Okay? It's very important for each and every one of us, just not you. What are we called to do right now is to step into our inner strength, step into balancing our masculine and our feminine, and not letting outside energy interfere, okay? All right. Spirit, what do we have from the work your life for Aries? What is the doorway, the path? <clears throat> this portal opening up, what do you have? What is this portal for Aries? Alchemic mutation. We're going to read it. Alchemical mutation. It's a test, I'm telling you guys. Mutation, a portal, going from one place to another, having learned the lesson, having had the wisdom, seeing the wisdom in a situation. We're going to read just the first few lines because it's very long. Alchemical mutation, and it's a four, right? It's stability, emotional stability. So, alchemical mutation. Your spiritual growth is changing your mind, body, and soul. It is very real. It is helping you fulfill all aspects of your divine destiny. Okay? It is awakening spiritual talents, love it, and attracting in new energy. This process will bring tremendous joy and satisfaction. Notice how they said, It is awakening spiritual talents. That's that creation. And this Ace of Wands. Inspiration. Okay. It's very good, Aries. This is amazing. Now let's see what the angels have for you. Let's get an angel card. Let's get an angel card. The angels are definitely with you. It's a spiritual upgrade. It's a, like I said, it's a portal. <clears throat> it's a test. It's a test. Hang tight. Open your eyes. Okay? Open your eyes. See the situation from a higher standpoint. King of Swords energy. 
Don't get your, let your emotions take over. Okay? You need to use those emotions towards this creation. You do not need or should not put that energy into this here, which is a trigger. It's a test. Okay? All right, Spirit, what do I have for Aries, please? What's the portal? What any message you have for Aries? Good angel. Spirit for Aries. Okay. Yes, angel of enlightenment. Oops. Didn't I say that? You're getting downloads. It's about the creation. It's this ace of wands. Angel of enlightenment. You're definitely working on something creative that's going to be very prosperous and it's going to align you with so much just opportunity, okay? It's something very, very inspiring. It's empowering. It's, it's your calling. Maybe not you, the calling, but it's part of it. It's the start of it. You know, it's the beginning of a really amazing journey. You know, you are being... Um, you're being like protected by angels. This is an offer coming in from spirit. It's the creation. It's the beginning. It's birthing something new, starting something new, a new cycle. All right, Aries. So this is a beautiful reading. Do not be triggered. Okay, Aries. I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I have an Instagram, especially for my channel. I will link it below. Bye. Take care.